11. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lauren Maloney. And I'm Mike Hoey. Sue Klebold, the mother of Columbine High School shooter Dylan Klebold, was in South Burlington tonight. She was talking about mental health and the importance of parents monitoring their kids' activities. She spoke for nearly an hour, opening up, up about her struggles after that horrific shooting. Local 22's Devin Bates was there tonight. He joins us now live in the studio with more. Hi, Devin. Lauren, it's now been 20 years since Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold killed 13 other people before turning their guns on themselves. Sue Klebold told me talking about that day still brings back horrific memories and pain. On April 20th, 1999, the Columbine High School community in Littleton, Colorado changed forever. Sue Klebold, the mother of Columbine shooter Dylan Klebold, never saw warning signs that her son was a killer. He was always my kid who just sort of managed his life. And one of the things that happens with children like that is we rely on their self-reliance. We rely on them to know what to do and how to care for themselves. And I think I was never really, and I know that as Dylan's life began to deteriorate, I didn't see it because in my mind he was still the kid who could handle things and could manage his life. Sue described in detail situations that, in hindsight, should have been clear warning signs to teachers and counselors. Like a meeting Dylan had with a counselor about a vulgar English paper he wrote that referenced killing all the popular kids. Years later, I saw the counselor I, and I asked him, I said, did you talk to Dylan about his paper? And he said, yes, I did. I said, what did you say? And he said, well, I looked at Dylan and he's just this nice, affable kid. And um, I never would think to be afraid of Dylan. And he said, I just said to him, Dylan, you know you're not allowed to write bad words like this in a paper. And Dylan said, yeah, I know. And he said, well, don't do it again, OK? And Dylan said, OK. And that was the end of the talk. Sue says that even now, it takes her days to recover mentally after discussing the massacre. Despite that pain, she says she does it for other parents. I have been told that sharing my story, people are able to interact with their own children differently. And I hope that no one would ever, ever have to go through what our community went through and our family went through. The event was hosted by the Howard Center, which is located in Burlington and offers mental health, substance use, and developmental services. Live in studio, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.